Uncle, I saw a dream last night. Yeah? What about? I saw a cave at the top of our mountain. I had a strange feeling that I need to get there. Interesting. Ever since you told me the truth about my parents a few years ago, I've been having these dreams. I feel like I need to find the truth about them. I can only tell you what you already know. I found you as a baby at my door. I thought I saw a figure of a woman in the distance, but when I looked again, she disappeared. Look, kid, you should finally know the truth. If you need to know, then climb it. Thank you, Uncle. There was a cave up the mountain. You've returned already? What did you find? I'm not sure. I saw some figures in the fog, some runes written in an ancient language, and a voice. He said something about a cycle and gods and warriors fighting. What does it all mean? I wish I were able to tell you. Do you really need to know this? Yes. Then I might know a man who can help you. His name is Ernest Hoffner. He was the best expert in ancient languages I know of. Now, he doesn't participate in any researches at all. He lives in a house near the Golden Forest. He might be able to help you. Thank you, Uncle. I will go immediately. This might not be a good idea. The road could be dangerous, so perhaps you need to get a horse from Mr. Alton and some equipment before you go. Come in. Hello? Yes. Welcome. What's your business? I'm a little busy, so speak quickly. Are you Ernest Hoffner, sir? Yes, it's me. Can't find anyone like that in the whole kingdom. What brings you here? Well, I have a strange tale to tell you. Bear with me. I had a vision. Strange figures fighting. Runes written in a weird language, lightning up in the dark, and an ominous voice telling me something about the cycle and the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, we are all interested in hearing your dreams and fantasies, right? Get out of here, you daydreamer. Wayana, come on, we don't treat visitors this way. Are you going to believe every nut that comes here with a crazy story, Ernest? I'm sick of this. Calm down, please. Listen, can you write down some of those runes you saw here on this paper? I can try. Here. These are the runes of the Volflar from the final era. Wyana, can you see this? Oh, gods. I'll be outside. It's my assistant, Wyana. Don't mind her. She is a nice girl. She just doesn't really trust strangers. Now tell me everything. So this rune in the context of this overall sentence means fire, not warm. The world is set on fire, something like that. That doesn't sound good. No, it very much does not. 
It seems to be a premonition for a huge cataclysmic event that's going to happen. When? I don't know. These numbers get confusing. The Volfla date system isn't well researched. And I still can't translate some of these runes yet. So, what should I do with this one? Let me think. Mm. The Explorers League might be able to help us out. Their closest camp is on the border of the Golden Forest and the desert. Go there and ask them. Are you guys done? Dinner is almost ready. Oh, and Wyana will be accompanying you. She knows the Explorer, so she can show you around. What? You can't be serious. You want me to go to the Explorer's League with this weirdo? Precisely. The camp near the desert. You will be going and helping with researchers there. They know you. Otherwise, no one will help out there. And the road might be dangerous. I can take care of myself. See? Wiana, I will not argue this. And it's time now. I need some things to do. What? All right, all right. Those are none of your concern. Let's go. Ernest told me you're his assistant? Something like that. He knows me since I was little. He was a good friend of my father. So, what are you assisting him with? I'm mostly just taking care of him. He doesn't really do any research anymore. Got it. So, you don't believe my story? I don't know or give a damn. Why do you even care about these visions so much? Well, I never knew my parents or where I really came from. I'm sorry, what? Did you just show up on some random villager's doorstep one dark and stormy night? Um, actually, yes. More or less. God, seriously? Fine. Continue. I just feel that these visions and runes and everything are connected to the truth of my parents. Is that so hard to believe? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You never left your village before? No, only went to Steeport a couple of times. Wow. Glad I get to babysit you, in addition to all my other responsibilities. Hey, I learn fast. You'll be impressed, I promise. Huh, we'll see. So, are you always this gloomy, or what? Hey, don't talk like I'm some spiteful hag. Oh no, I'm not saying anything. It, just looking at you with reverence and a little bit of terror. You better. And not a little bit too. You know, when I was a kid, I got really scared by a squirrel in the woods. I ran screaming all the way to the village and told my uncle that I've met a monster. He was laughing so hard his stomach hurt. <laughs> That's when I promised myself that I would never be scared of anything. Here goes another Captain Risk Taker again. Always taking risks, huh? Just saying. Just saying, yeah. Nothing wrong with being cautious from time to time. Now let's get to sleep. Let's leave all swashbuckling for tomorrow, shall we? Good night. Someone's coming. You better put down this bow, pretty girl, and I promise we won't hurt you too much. Not before I put an arrow between your eyes, scum. You'll regret those words after we're through with you. You won't touch her. Get out of here while you still can. Look who's got a voice. You're a tough one, aren't you? I might just piss myself. <laughs> oh. We need to start scouting uh, up potential targets. Uh, 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 that bastard sneaked up on me. I'm pretty sure you had this. Ha. Huh. Obviously. Let's get out of here. I'm not feeling This is it? It looks a bit like well, it looks a mess. Yes. 
An organized mess, one could argue. What do you expect when you shove a bunch of scientists, mages, and archaeologist types into one camp? They all despise each other, jockeying to be the one responsible for the next big discovery, yet they all need each other. I've got some quick personal business to attend to, but there's nothing to be afraid of. I'll... Hey, where are you going? Excuse me for a moment? You're not excused. Can't you see that we're having an important debate? Sounds more like a squabble to me. Let us not play semantics. What do you want? Make it quick. I was just about to win this debate. I'm trying to find someone who can translate these runes. <laughs> I can translate any room for you. Well, almost any room. Hmm? Anything. Obviously, Volflar. Pretty fascinating, but those runes are beyond my lexicon. Is there a Volflar expert? Someone else who could help? There might be one person who is, uh, better than me. Who is he? What's his name? I'm sorry, name? I make it a habit of not learning the name of anyone beneath or above me. The former puts inferior folks in check, the latter humbles. So that leaves only your equals names? What's my name? Margaret? Or was it... It's fine. I know I'm your superior. Thank you for humbling me. So can you at least describe this man? Handsome. Okay, can you be more specific? How many handsome men do you see around here? Besides me, of course. Uh... Fine. He's of average height and build. Kind of a brownish, blackish, blondish hair. Oh, bearded. He's got a well-trimmed beard. Although, he does enjoy the freshly shaven look on occasion. Medium complexion. Is any of this helping? Oh, do you mean Dracus? Doesn't ring a bell. The flirtatious one. Well, he's never flirted with me. I don't think he's your type. He prefers young, attractive, scientific women. He's always chatting them up around camp. I wouldn't know anything. Hello, Wyana. And you must be... Wyana, you know this kid? Hey, sorry for ditching you, but it seemed like you had it covered. Well, I didn't. I've been looking for some idiot named Dracus to help me translate these runes. Um, ouch? I might look strong, but my heart is tender. Ugh. You were looking for Dracus? Why? He can't help you translate. Whoa, I can too. I've learned a lot since you and I... Well, Indy Joe said I had a real promise. I really look up to that guy, even though he can never get my name right. Give me a minute with Wyanna, and I'll help you out. Wyanna, what did you want to talk about? Not a bad one, right? Um, this is urgent. Never change, Dracus. Come on, just trying to have a little laugh. All right, bye. I will wait outside the camp while you boys figure out these runes or whatever. What was that about? Me and that guy were... Look, it's none of your business anyways. I'm gonna go. What's that smell? Ernest, we're back. Where are you? Oh, my friends, yeah. Oh no, we came at the wrong time. I should have known. What's wrong with him? You better leave. I'll deal with him. Give me half an hour. He just needs some refreshment. Okay. Well, sorry about that. I was a little sick, you know. It's fine. You're better now, right? So, about the runes? Down to business then, sure. I like that. All right, fellow explorers, I need to head home. You aren't the only ones I need to take care of. All right, so one nugget I managed to mine out of all of this is the Lost Temple. What's that? I've done a fair amount of research on this topic in my past. The Lost Temple is where the Volflar go to worship their gods. It's actually hidden from sight, and you can't easily enter it even if you find it. However, with the help of these runes, it might be possible to get the spell to find it and get inside. It might be worth a try. 
So, we are going. Yeah, let's wait for Wyana, and we'll be good to go. Finally, you've returned. Hey sis, how you've been? I'm starving. I'm fine. Come inside. I've baked some ribs. How's Ernest? Oh, you know how he is. Who are you? What do you want? Prince Gabriel? Is this her? No, she doesn't fit the descriptions. Lily, come back inside now! That's her. Take her. Lily! There's no need for this, Zegroff. I'm afraid there is, my lord. She might become a problem for us. We can't risk anything. All right, just make it quick. <gasps> Wyanna! Wyanna! Wyanna should have been back by now. Maybe she's just late? No, that's not like her. Something's wrong, let's go! Oh no! Wyanna! 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 Over here! She's still alive! Help me lift her! Is she gonna be alright? She's a strong girl, I just... Need to make a couple of potions. How is she? She is much better. Resting. Are you still going to find the temple? Yes, I can do this by myself. No need to bother her. All right. I've marked the places where the runes probably are on your map. Just get there and say the spell out loud. It should reveal them. After you discover all runes, the whole temple will reveal itself. Got it. Good luck, kid. Ugh. They are all dead. Someone's been here already. Hmm. These runes are similar to the runes Ernest was talking about. Maybe I should complete the combination. Looks like one of these men was chosen to be... a god? He fights the other god and saves everyone. Is this the fate of mine? Loosen the chains a little so she can lie down. No need to make her suffer more than necessary. Why are you doing this? Everyone must follow their destiny, no matter how hard it is. This is my mission. But why me? Because you 
were chosen by the forces beyond us. And so was I. I attempt to do something that has never been done before. You will see when the time comes. Please! I don't want to see anything! Just let me go! This needs to be done. The Dark God will come, and I will become his successor. This is the cause worth any sacrifice. Why do you bother telling her this, my lord? She won't be alive to witness it. What? Your soul will be sacrificed, little girl. Stop, Zegroth. Let's continue on our way. Ernest, I'm back. Come here. You're awake. Ernest, he's sick. He's out of the potions he needs. What potions? Uh, Yanfola and Calmweed. He mixes Calmweed with Yanfola? But that's poisonous. Not if you mix in the right amount. It's making him feel good, happy, makes him see things. But he is addicted to it. Should I make more potions for him? We have Calmweed, but no Yanfola. You need to make a potion out of it. It will calm him down and help him get through the night. Got it. No! Where is it? Where is it? I can't take it! It hurts! Take it. This will help. He is resting. Thank you. No problem. He wasn't always like this. He was a joy to be around. Very strong, very active. My parents loved him. He and my father were the best of friends. What happened to him? He was working on researching Volflar ruins a few years ago. They've encountered some sort of protection spell, and he screwed up the translation. All of his friends from the camp died because of it, and he was badly injured. It's their names he was saying. Yes, he never got over it fully. That's why he makes these potions for himself. They help him cope with the pain. I wish I could help. You are helping! He grabbed the opportunity to help you from the moment he heard your story. He needs to work again. Perhaps helping you will make him get over this addiction. But now, after what happened, I don't know. What happened to you? It was Prince Gabriel and Zegrath, his mage. They took my sister. Why? I don't know. They've said that they wanted her for something. Maybe it's something to do with your visions and God. Who knows? All this ancient magic and gods and princes. What am I supposed to do with all this? I couldn't do anything to protect her. I can't take this anymore. I have to take care of both of them, but I can't. I'm just a stupid girl and I'm alone. Now I'm gonna cry. You are not alone. You've got us. Ernest and me, we will get your sister back. Look, no matter what's going to happen in the future, I won't give up, and neither should you. We'll get through this. Together. I promise. You're always optimistic, aren't you? You are the strongest person I know. You need to rest. Hello? How are you guys doing? I'm much better, thank you. Wyana is alright, too. So what did you find? I found the temple and got inside. There were carvings there. From what I understand, once in a while these two gods come back, choose a successor, and then give him all their power so he could fight for them. So you assume you're going to be a successor? Yes. I think so. I think I've been destined to get the power of the God of Light and to defeat the evil God. That's the only explanation. If it is true, the destiny itself will lead you there, and we won't be able to do anything about it. 
The question is, who's going to be the opposite one? When I got to the temple, someone had already been there. All the stone creatures there were destroyed with powerful magic. They were reduced to ash. I've never seen anything like it. It was them, Prince Gabriel and that bastard Zegrath. This mage is the only one who has such power. What do they want? Do you think they want to bring the Dark God back? If this is the destiny we are talking about here, they are, most likely. And it won't surprise me if that pompous idiot Gabriel wants this power. He is a despicable scumbag. The whole country knows this. We need to get your sister out. Can you fight? Don't worry about my wound. I'll manage. They are probably keeping her in the dungeons below the castle in Erteron. We will get there at night. Hmm. Looks like some sort of amulet for protection that the High Priest wears. Doesn't seem to work anymore. Keep it. Maybe it could be useful. Meet me near the castle in Erteron at night. We will do it together. Operations going. Did you manage to get the runes to get through the temple's anti-magic protection? We are close, my lord. Good. It would be very sad if the cycle started and we couldn't get to this flying monstrosity because it removes all magic around it. It will all work, trust me. The same is for the sacrifice ceremony. You will be in control of the power when everything ends. I want to believe that, but I still have some doubts. What we are attempting here just was never done before. Tell me, how did it work previously, you said? The god comes to this world and dominates the Chosen One's mind through unimaginable torture. After this human's mind is reduced to a small fraction, helplessly watching how someone else controls his body. Fate. Is it the same for both gods? Yes, my lord. Both dark and light gods do the same thing. The whole process is described as an unforced and voluntary transfer of power by the servants of these gods, to encourage future successes. Lies. Everyone lies all the time. When I get power, everything will be different. My father will. Listen to me. Yes, my lord. Continue your work. Did you hear what they said? Yes. So, do you think it's true? Probably. And that doesn't bother you at all? This god is going to steal your body! Look. If this is what's going to happen, if this is my destiny, I will accept it. I'm not going to turn back. Going forward only, I will face him and win. You are either the bravest hero or the stupidest human being I've ever met. I'm not sure. Glad to hear you have your humor back. Now, shall we continue?
hold on! I'll get this bastard. No, you're no match for him. We need to run now. Come on! Hmm. I will enjoy that. Leave me. I need you. Come on, let's get out of here. What to do now? I don't know. From what I've got of your story, they are almost ready to start the ritual. We need to be there when it starts. But how? They've said that the temple is flying in the air, and you won't get there by magic. Can we fly on something? What do you mean, on something? The only thing that can do that is a dragon. Can we ride a dragon? No. It might be the craziest thing I've heard lately, and that's saying a lot. Actually... Oh, come on. This is so stupid. There is one man I know of. His name is Dagoba. Well, actually, he calls himself the Great Dagoba. Don't tell me. Is he one of your crazy old friends? No, actually, I only heard of him. He claims that he is one and only dragon rider in Gidonia. He lives in Feyreach. Even if we can actually tame and ride a dragon, where do we find one? Most of them live high up in the mountains and rarely fly down to Gidonia. Have you heard of Dragonfire Fortress? No. It's an old burned-down fortress east from the desert. Some believe that in the dungeons underneath lives a dragon. It's probably empty. There's no way there's a dragon there. It's worth a try. I mean, come on. We don't have any better plan than this one, right? So let's go. Hey, Ernest. Why did you throw out your cauldron? How are you going to get your potions? I don't need them anymore, kid. I decided not to dwell in the past. Will you manage without them? I will try. If you can stand against the power of the gods, I'll try to stand against my nightmares. Good luck, kid, and thank you for everything. And then, my sword pierced through the monster's jaws, and he fell to the ground dead. And so me, Dagobar the Great, defeated the evil once more. Yeah, I right. stopped listening five minutes ago. So, if you want to support the greatest monster hunter in Gadonia with a coin, or offer a job of slaying dangerous monsters, please don't be shy. scoffed at an honest man, my lady. Not every day can be a glorious adventure, you know. True, but today might be just the one. Really? We need to know if you are what you claim you are. We heard you have skills to tame and ride a dragon? <laughs> Indeed, my lady. I've read old secret manuscripts and books that teach these techniques. Why are you asking? 
We want you to tame and ride a dragon. Interesting. Where do you propose we find one? We heard we can find one in Dragonfire Fortress. How much will it cost us? Wait, are you serious? Why would you need to ride a dragon? It's very important. Someone's life depends on it. Right. Well, I will do it. I would need to ask you for a thousand gold coins, up front. What? Deal. All right. I'll be ready in a couple of minutes. It seems like no one is home. Let's go check inside. Yes, that's definitely Dragon Breath's effects. You sure it's that necessary? Absolutely. Okay. I can't! I didn't prepare the ritual yet! I need some time! You damned idiot! Why didn't you do this ahead of time? No time to argue! Run! Alright! I can see him! Wish me luck! Good luck. Ooh. it worked out especially considering that I've never done it before what we could have died but we didn't and I can't let the client down I've got a reputation to keep but you didn't doubt me for a moment did you I'm surrounded by idiots is everyone ready yes uh, not sure let's go Soon, we need to hurry.
We need to start preparations for the ritual, my lord. We don't have much time. That one is dead, sir. Go, Zagroth. I'll come shortly after. Just going to... discuss something. You don't know how to quit, do you? It's admirable. I need to stop you. Why would you want to stop me? Everything is going to be better when I succeed. When the Dark God comes and destroys the world, you think that's better? There won't be a fight, you dumb child. And there won't be any destruction either. That is what I am trying to prevent. What? Gods do not care about us. They are only interested in their eternal fight. It doesn't matter who wins, the god of light or darkness, we lose at the end. But... I don't expect you to have wits to understand any of this. You will watch as I rise above and save us all. And then we'll talk. No, let me go. You don't know what you're doing. We are close, my lord. Good. It's happening. Come on, you bastard! Try to get me! I'm not scared! You've served your purpose already, young prince. You've brought the offspring to me. What?! And now, he will receive his reward. Possible? I will give you a clue what's possible, you screeching pile of filth! <laughs> you can try to find me, or you can run away. The ending will still be the same. You are destined for this. I will wait. I did not want another pathetic, weak whistle. You are supposed to be the greatest one I ever had. All your 
travels, adventures, trials, the old sword of workers has <laughs> created the ultimate weapon and leading it here to me. Start again. My opponent is here, but where is the offspring? Who is worthy enough to ascend? Not you, obviously. You have the spirit. Receive your reward. I know. There's no getting out of here alive, is there? You are lucky you don't have an arrow between your eyes already, bastard. It is only fair. You should know that you earned my respect. It's done. What are we going to do now? I don't know yet. Let's just go home. I'm all for it. 